Konnichiwa! I'm Alex with Lexco Moto Gymkhana. In this episode, I want to talk to you about the four elements of Moto Gymkhana, or the four patterns. These are the four main patterns that you must master in order to be good at Moto Gymkhana. I film myself doing a little bit of each one so you can see it. Let's go to the footage. Hit it! All right, and we're back. Riders, it's very important that you master each one of the four elements of Moto Gymkhana. This is going to, first of all, it's going to help your technique because each element of Moto Gymkhana has its own unique little trick and approach. And you are going to encounter these four patterns in a Moto Gymkhana competition all the time. And so in order to prepare for those competitions, you got to have these four elements mastered so that you're ready to go. And, and it doesn't matter what you encounter on these courses, you're ready for it. The other big reason why I think about Moto Gymkhana in terms of these four elements is because it helps with my memorization. When I get that little map at a Moto, Moto Gymkhana course uh, competition and I start studying it, I break down the course into those four elements oh here's a figure eight okay here's a rotation turn okay here's an offset weave slalom here's a straight slalom here's another weave here's another rotation turn i'm always thinking about it in terms of those four elements so if you get very familiar with these four patterns and you master them memorizing moto gym kana courses is going to be way simpler way easier in level two, I'm going to give you another um, piece of advice on how to memorize Moto Gymkhana courses even easier. But for right now, this is a great start. Work on these four elements, master them, figure out each little technique. I'll be talking more about these in level two and level three. Riders, until the next video, arigato and peace.